Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom work order statuses. As you can see here, we have a work order already open for one of our favorite customers. She's going to have the miniatures and one of her board games painted by our artist. If we head over to status, we can check the drop down list to see the statuses that are available by default in Lightspeed. We have open, estimate, waiting, call customer, and finished. And we also have the mystery sixth status available at the end as well that we don't see here. It's called done and paid, and it is only available once the item has been checked out and payment has been received. So we don't see it there yet. We want to create another one that we're going to fit in between waiting and call customer, and it's going to be called in progress. And I'm going to show you how to create that now. Let's head over to settings and we'll scroll down to custom statuses. Here we can see the list of statuses that we already have with their sort order and the colors that are assigned to them. We can see here the order appears open estimate waiting call customer and finished and that's determined by these numbers in the order column. Let's say we want this to appear between estimate and waiting. So we're going to bump this up to a three and we're going to bump that up to a four. And we're going to squeeze our new one in at the sort order of two. To do so, hit new status in the top right. We'll give it its name, the sort order, which we've decided is going to be two. And we'll assign it a color from this drop down list. Once I hit save changes, we can head back to the custom status list. And we can see that it's now here in order open estimate in progress, waiting, call customer, finished, done and paid. If we head back to our work order, we can see that our new work order status is available here in the drop down list. And that's how you create a custom status for work orders in Lightspeed. This concludes our video and don't forget to check out the help center for more information and videos.